because they don't want to take notes because I'm going to destroy them. I'm telling you, this it's not even, you can't put money on what I'm about to get these boys. I'm telling you that. I hope they got notes. I hope they got paper. I hope they got pen. They better have it. Just scrolling through my feed. I looked at one of the rocks posts. And just, just to put on the record, man, first of all, the guy has 80 million followers. I don't know anybody else that has over two or three million. But that's, man, that's the beauty about the age of internet and Instagram is like, even if you don't have the circle, you can manufacture a circle, like of ideas and people that you want to be like and be around. And you can constantly get a taste of what they think. And so it's a, man, it's a, it's a nice little look into him, man. I was watching, I was reading one of his posts, flying to Vegas today to work, and flying to Vegas today for work and going over all my, all my biz. Then that feeling hits me, how wild and crazy I get when I go to Vegas. I give the word bender, a new meaning, Jack. Then I say F it and, and through business plans in the air, air while staring at the camera like a G. Then I humbly picked up my papers because in actuality, my version of while in Vegas is going to work, the gym, and eating dead cow with baked potatoes and tequila. Happy Sunday, everyone. Have a great productive week. It's just a reminder, man. Even like, you got to work. You got to keep working. Even when it seems like it's playtime, you got to make some time to work. I appreciate it. And the legend has arrived. Stop. What's up, man? How are you, man? Good to see you. This is Ivan, by the way, guys. Ivan. What's going on, brother? What's up, big guy? What's up, brother? So I got a couple kids. Um, so I'm looking at maybe 40, which is fine. The Nationals kids. Um, we had a younger group that trains tonight, so what we did was, the 13s and 14s, what we did was we put the invite out to them. So John, the guy I told you about, he's the one who runs it, um, he invited them. So we don't know how many are going to come, um, but they come. Andrew, Kevin, Joy. What's up, guys? I watched like all your videos. I'm really not that bad. You're a big deal. Really? You are a big deal. Hey, Abby, hear that? What do you say? They said I'm a big deal. I gotta big get deal. I gotta get this. That's I awesome, bro. Y'all are a big deal. Y'all be a big deal after this you day. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you can <laughs> Matt, he's nervous. Make sure these are firm hands. Yes. No, no. That's what I'm talking about, boy. <laughs> Little hands. What are you? And, and, and make sure you get the whole hand. Don't get that part. There you go. Put, I'll put that thing in the slot. Just <laughs> like that. Nick. Gerard. I play with Gerard. He's the best dude. This counts on bats. I work with War Stick. Well, I heard of the call. War Stick. Ian Kinsler. He, uh, he swings War Stick. He actually helped. He actually helped. Uh, he's one of the founders. Oh, got a lot of cool bats. I can get you 30% off. Just go to my uh, go to my Instagram page, and you go to the profile. Put in that code when you check out. They, got, they do none of that. I brought in uh, Raphael Turner, uh, Instagram that hitting guy, and Raphael is going to talk to you about uh, not only baseball but about uh, college recruiting, um, the mental part of the game, guys. And I want you to ask this guy some questions. He's going to give you some drills that you could do maybe on your swing, something that you're having trouble with. Maybe he'll find the drill that you could do on your, by yourself, and we will show them to you, all right? So again, question and answer towards the end. Raphael, turn. Cool, cool. What you, what, what you are today, you don't have to be that. What people tell you about who you are, you don't have to be that. 
you have full control over your blueprint. This is your blueprint. This is what you're doing. You're, you're molding a blueprint for the rest of your life. Why do I teach baseball? Honestly, my personal opinion, baseball, hitting a baseball is the hardest thing you can do in any sport. If you can figure out how to, how to, how to hit a baseball consistently, you can figure out how to attack life because you're not gonna experience any more failure than this. You're not gonna struggle any more than this. You're not gonna see any more challenges than this. And every single time you strike out, you gotta figure out how the heck am I gonna get back up and do it again? Division one, you got 11.7 scholarships. Division two, nine baseball scholarships, okay? Division three, there are no athletic scholarships. But, but, here's the thing, they can rival scholarship packages that bigger universities offer with financial aid. They can do it that way. All right, so there's, there's still money opportunity, it's not, but it's not in the form of a scholarship. Can't be done that way, okay? Now, JUCO. Guess how many scholarships JUCO's can offer? Huh? Any other guesses? You sticking at zero? All junior colleges can offer up to 24 scholarships. Athletic scholarships. Athletic scholarships. Hey, man. Where the guys that tell myself, I want to play Juco ball, man? Pops, I got you. You ain't got to pay no money. I'm going to go play Juco ball. Anybody want to play Juco ball? Anybody's goal to play Juco ball? Guess what? If, if I had the option, I would go back to play Juco. If I had the option, remind you, I went to a four-year school, I would go back and play junior college baseball. That would be, that would be my first choice. Why well, go to a, a JUCO? I don't waste any years. If my goal, if your goal is to play this, play this game at the highest level possible, well, then you need to get in the system as soon as possible. And you can't get in the system as soon as possible if you're going to a four-year school. You go to a JUCO, guess when you're, you're draft eligible? Once you, once you walk in. So from a developmental standpoint, yeah, you're there to develop. You're going to get bigger. You're going to get stronger. But shoot, I'm, 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 I'm there to play. I'm ready. I'm ready. More opportunity. You know, Albert Pujols, Bryce Harper. You're looking at some of the top guys in the league. You can look through the league. And if, and if I'm a scout, I'm probably going to take my chances going to a JUCO before anyway. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't need a scholar. That's, that's great that you're smart. But I don't need a scholar. I need a baseball player. Mm. So if the ultimate goal is to do that at the highest level, it's cheaper, it's more opportunity, and it's going to give you a chance to advance, not only at the professional level, but a lot of schools go out and they look for JUCO guys. You know why they look for JUCO guys? Because when you go to school at 17, 18 years old, not only do you not know what you want to do, you still don't know who you are. You got two years to mature. Uh, one question. So when you're talking about sending letters to colleges, uh, one question I have is like substantially in, the, in a letter, an email, what's some of the main things you need to get in the email? Main things that you need to put in the email. Don't, this day and age, don't have a letter prepared. Don't have a letter, unless you're sending snail mail, unless you're literally putting it in the mail, and even if you put it in the mail, have a link. Don't send any mail that you don't have video with. Because now, it's kind of like a waste of my time. Like I said, you got to do their job for them. They don't have a lot of time. Time is so precious. So have video ready, all right, with your video. Make sure that you understand. I may forget what I was going to tell him, but make sure that your video highlights what you do well. Don't get, why would you, don't get in there running no 7-5. If you're not no fast guy, don't show them that you're a 7-5 runner and you're an outfielder, right? Don't do that. In your highlight film, put highlights, not low lights. All right? Uh, another thing I would do, make sure you personalize it as much as possible. Uh, universities, coaches, are just as egotistical as you are. So when you're coming to my university and you're playing for my club, understand you're coming to me. I want to know what you can do for me. Why do you want to come play for me? Why do you want to come play for my program? Don't send me a generic email. All right.
Because now, to hit pitches the other way hard, you gotta have leverage. Ain't no such thing as hitting the outside pitch like this hard. You ain't hitting no doubles backside like that. You hit the ball out like that. Hit the balls out backside with longer levers, mm. and then we get through. But if you're on top of the plate, one, you never do it because you're too close anyway, right? So now you make the middle pitch the inside pitch, you make the outside pitch the middle pitch, and you don't have an outside pitch because now you're taking a pitch that would be a strike if you stepped off, but at the same time a pitch that you're taking away, probably a ball that you're gonna be hitting hard too, a ball that you should be getting leverage to, right? And now you take this part away. If I'm pitching to you, if I'm calling pitches, I'm going inside. I'm going inside. I'm, and one of two things is going to happen. Well, what I think will happen, I go inside, you foul off the first pitch, my guy better not miss a spot. You're going to foul off the first pitch, I'm going to come back in there again, you're probably going to foul off that second pitch. And one of two things is going to happen from there. Either you're going to figure out I can't get to that pitch and I'm going to take a step back, or you're going to stay right there and anticipate that. Your body's already used to it. Your body's not going to make that adjustment. Your eyes are going to have to make that adjustment. So then I'm going to throw you off speed outside. And I'm going to watch you do this. Right? One or the other. And if you take that step back, Chess. you still fed into my plan anyway because you're not used to hitting that pitch. And I'm going to keep it outside. I'm going to stay slow. Right? Mm -hmm. Give yourself that space. Let your, let, let your levers work because you got a great swing. Yes, sir. You know? If I'm going to get hit, right? Give it a little bit longer, stay through the baseball. Hair longer, stay inside. Hair. Just a little bit more of a good. Wait, wait, wait on, let it get to your front hip. Let it get to your front hip. That's fine, good. What I would do if I were you, practice thing. You need to figure out how far can I get off the plate and still be able to cover the outer half. Yo, I want to say thank you. I appreciate it. It was great. Phil, thank you for letting us use Prodigy. Anytime. Absolutely. Thank you very thank much. You. You're welcome. Anytime. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, Prodigy. Raphael Prodigy, Turner. Thank you. Phil appreciate Delgado, Prodigy, Turn, uh, Prodigy Training, Frankie Orlando, New Jersey Nationals. Yeah. You know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> do, do it.